Hi guys, something that happened already a few times to me and probably to one of you as well is that my pellet probe or my pin probe seems to find a way to come loose. Every time I'm shooting, sometimes I see a point of impact shift or my groups are opening up and I'm not realizing that my pellet probe is becoming loose, pushing in my pellets in a weird angle, messing up the skirts, jamming up the magazine from time to time, a real headache before you know what is going on. The easy fix is of course to take out that little screw, put a drop of blue Loctite, put it back in and you won't have any problems, but that's not so practical when you want to change between pellet or pin probe or want to change calibers and so on. So lucky for us, there are companies out there like Crawford and Lipt, they make this little accessory and it calls the Ultra, uh, Ultra Grip Probe Carrier, if I'm not mistaken, which replaces the original one inside your FX Impact. They have the same uh, tiny Allen screw on the side, it's just one size bigger to a 2mm instead of to a 1.5, but the key thing is at the bottom with that bigger screw and the clamping system. By uh, tightening that bigger screw on the bottom, you're really firmly holding on to your pellet probe and not allowing it to come loose during your uh, shooting and saves you a lot of headache. So in this video, we'll go over how to install it on your FX Impact and see how it all goes. All right, so I'll be installing it on my FX Impact M3. Very beautiful gun. And the first thing I will do is to make sure there are no pellets in the breech. Your gun has been put on safe like this and you're sure you have a safe gun to work on. First thing I'm gonna do, remove my beautiful Element Optics Nexus. In that nice spur mount, I have a video about that spur mount because I get quite uh, some questions about it, so you can check out that video as well. I'll put the link in the corner of the screen. Next thing I'll do is remove my uh, scope rail, in this case, it's the new Sabre Tactical TRS rail. We have one screw here at the front. Two little screws at the back. Make sure they're loose. Then I'll quickly release the screws here at the front from my uh, barrel clamp. So I can take off the rail and leave that barrel clamp in place. Easy off like this. Take out the barrel clamp. Whoops. Make sure you leave those screws in place so you know where they have to go back. Next thing. I will put my focus to removing the cheek piece. And in my case, it's just those two screws. As the original one, you will have to release the four, the four at the top. One. Make sure you don't lose your screws. Put it to the side. Now the part that we are looking for is actually this thing right here. That's your uh, probe carrier, as you can see. Maybe you can try undoing it this way from here and uh, fiddling around inside and mounting it. But I will show you the proper way by removing the complete backbone. Something else I will do is remove the barrel quickly as it makes it's simpler to handle and uh, you will see in a minute why we have to remove it anyway. With that out of the way, we can remove our back plate, our backbone. I will quickly speed up the process so you don't have to see me undoing all these screws. I have done it already countless times on videos, so you probably know exactly what and how. And with all the screws loose, it's a matter of lifting it up. Make sure you put it in place just like this because the screws have different lengths. I always mention this, but that's quite important. They go back in the same place. 
And as you can see, this is the part we are going to focus on, but we'll have to remove our uh, uh, linkage here. So quickly remove that tiny grub screw here. Make sure you don't lose it, or maybe you can quickly put it on the other side. So you make sure you don't lose it. Then we have to push out that pin from the bottom. Not always as easy to get that thing out. And it jumped out as you could see. Make sure you don't lose this pin as it is quite important to recock your linkage. And then we can take out our probe carrier. Just like this, make sure you don't twist it as by now you know that this length is very important. This is the screw we are after. We're gonna undo this in my uh, vice clamp at my working bench. So uh, let's go there for a minute. So here we are at the vice. I clamped it in with some protection. I know I have to make something more decent. And now we're gonna remove uh, this little block here at the side or the back with the screw at the bottom. Now this little screw is locked tight in. So what I do is I always heat it up just a little bit. So the blue Loctite can melt and we can easily remove the screw without stripping the head. That should be warm enough. Always make sure you use a good Allen key so you don't strip out the head. Make sure it's in there safely or firmly. And as you can see, this one comes out pretty easily. Now I have to be careful because I was heating it up that I don't burn my fingers. like this and that probe has some alignment pins I will have to make sure it seems like there is no second pin so I'll quickly put one in from myself all right so I have both pins reallocated those two pins line up with two holes in the bottom of your uh, um, cocking rail, I would say. These two pins ensure the alignment that is perfect so your pellet probe goes in perfectly in line with that barrel. So put them back in, make sure you put your uh, screw to this side with your block to the front. Locate those two pins, make sure they seat all the way. This ensures your alignment. Then I take uh, some blue Loctite and I apply it to the screw. Not too much. Quickly wiped off the excess. Make sure the threads of your screw start. And so that this screw is nice and flush with the top part. like this perfect let's head back to the tabletop view all right and with that part installed from Crawford and Lipt we can go ahead and start our assembly again make sure you're in front of your hammer like this we can realign our cocking arm With that little pin the tapered edge goes first like this that should be the proper alignment so take that little grub screw from this side that we put it there just to be safe Put it on top of that one. Doesn't have to be tight at all. It's just there to make sure the pin doesn't back out. Now one thing I notice with the Saber Tactical uh, shoulder part, should I say. This part is in the way of the probe carrier as it's a little bit longer and it can't slide backwards anymore. So I'll be quickly removing this one.
like this, taking it out, and I will see afterwards how I can uh, make it all work. So with our uh, cocking linkage back in place, we can place our top rail again. If you kept all your screws in place, this should go very simple and easy with all the screws dropping in their correct orientation. Then I will take, uh, no, too small. I will just start all the threads to make sure everything is nice and in alignment like this. Then I will take my barrel, put it in to make sure the alignment is perfect. Insert the barrel. Make sure it sits all the way to the back. Perfect. And with the barrel in place, we can now tighten up all the screws. All nice and tight. Then we can tighten up our barrel screw. Like this. Take the top rail. Put it on. Like this. Same here. Whoops. Voila. I'm not tightening them yet. Like this. I'll slide my barrel clamp in place. Lining up those holes. Putting the screws in, not too tight as it just delves in. And you don't want to strip the threads on it. Like this, barrel clamp is in place. We can go ahead and tighten up the other screws. Take my beautiful scope, quickly count, and it should be right there. Perfect. Well guys, that's the installation done of the pellet probe carrier by Crawford & Lipt. Not that difficult as you could see, and at least now I'm really reassured that when I see some changes on paper or something else, at least I know it's not my pellet probe coming loose and I don't have to worry about that anymore thanks to the really firm grip it has now. One small thing to note is that if you're using the Sabre Tactical cheek riser, it won't go together with that uh, probe carrier from Crawford & Lipt. Uh, as you can see, I just reinstalled it as original. I must admit, I'm not using the cheek riser to its full potential like it should be, but I have another impact I can easily mount it to and use it still that way. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you back in the next one. Bye.